Ahoy there, mateys. This is Captain Mike with another installment of Captain Mike's Extra Cheesy Pirate Jokes. They're only going to be a little cheesy today, I guess, because the cheese grater's down in my dungeon. Uh, just decided to try and uh, get a video out. It's been a, over a week and uh, got to shave, so before I do, I wanted to get another video. And my son, Jake, asked me to do at least one video with me red shirt, so... I figured I would tell an oldie but goodie, which I told in one of my very first Captain Mike videos about Captain Bravo um, or Captain Valor. I think I told this Captain Valor, so we'll stick with Captain Valor. And uh, this here is Jake of Jake and the Neverland Pirates. It's not my son Jake, but he's representing. He's got his cutlass because mine's down in the dungeon, along with most of my props. And of course, Snoopy's down there too. So I can't end this one with Snoopy like I always do. This will be a first, but uh, Jake stand it in for me. And uh, maybe we'll end with something a little different. But without any further ado, this quick installment, Captain Mike's Cheese Pirate videos. The last two were a little bit longer, so I'm trying to keep this one shorter. I'm going to retell, for those of you that are a little newer to Captain Mike's Extra Cheesy Pirate videos, I'm going to start with the one about Captain Valor. There was this very brave pirate captain. His name was Captain Valor. And uh, he uh, was a, a, known for his bravery and uh, not getting rattled in battle, so to speak. And uh, this one particular day, he and the crew were out sailing the seven seas. And uh, Captain Valor says, oh, what's that? And his first mate says, Captain Valor. There be a naval ship coming up, sailing this way. And Captain Valor says, Mate, fetch me me red shirt. So the first mate gets Captain Valor's red shirt and he puts it on. And as they, the enemy ship starts boarding, the naval ship starts, their, ship, their sailors start boarding, Captain Valor gets to fighting and he and his crew make quick work of them, dispatch them, and and there was much cheering. Hurrah, huzzah, and the bravery of Captain Valor. He took on half of them himself. A little bit later, that same day, the first mate signals to the man in the crow's nest. The man in the crow's nest says, Ahoy, I see two, two naval ships coming up on us. Well, First mate relays that to Captain Valor, and Captain Valor says, Fetch me me red shirt. He puts his red shirt back on, not the one he usually wears. And they wait. They start firing on the naval ships. The naval ships firing back. The naval ships try and board, and there's jumping on the ships, and there's much sword play. And Captain Valor, very brave, he and his crew, and they, they make short work of the two naval ships, home cast and crew, the ones that aren't, the ones that they don't do way with are thrown down below to be probably sold as slaves. And uh, that night they're celebrating and all talking about the, um, talking about the bravery of Captain Valor and how great they all did. And, and of course there was some plunder on those naval ships and they helped themselves to that, you know, some loot and gold and uh, textiles and clothing and spices and even some perfume for the ladies and some fresh fruit and all kinds of wonderful spoils to the victor goes the spoils as they say and uh right jake yeah so as they're sitting around having some grog the first mate pulls captain valor aside and says captain valor i've been serving ye for about seven years and i know you're an honorable man and I know you're not one to dodge truth. I just got to ask you, why is it that you, whenever you hear the pirate or other ships coming or naval ships coming, you always ask for your red shirt? And Captain Valor says, okay, you've been a good and loyal uh, sailor and a loyal first mate to me, low these last many years and a total of seven years. And so I'm going to tell you, but this is between you and me. I put on me red shirt so that if I'm wounded in battle, if I take a sword blow here or there and I'm bleeding, none of my crew can see that I've been wounded and I can continue to fight and they won't lose heart and uh, they won't 
no one will think that we're defeated as long as they don't know I'm wounded. And he pulls up his red shirt and you can see all the scars he's got. And you see some blood from the, that day's battles. But nobody saw it because it was absorbed by and covered by the red shirt. So the first mate says, oh, yeah, Captain, that's 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 pretty that's pretty smart. Uh, I've, I've, it's your secret safe with me. I won't tell anyone, but thank, thanks for confiding in me. Now, the next day, they're out sailing again, as they do, looking maybe to go somewhere and spend some of that booty and maybe get some booty, if you know what I'm talking about, right? Well, Jake, you don't know what I'm talking about. You're a minor, but um, they uh, suddenly get their call. Captain's told, Captain, Captain, there's eight ships coming. And Captain Valor says, get me brown pants. With that, I gotta go. It's gonna sing. But I think the other Jake may be coming up the stairs. So, and he's not allowed on the videos. And again, I'm six minutes. What can I say? Try and keep him short. But uh, 16 men on the dead men's chest. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Yo ho ho, that's the pirate secret password. So, for me and Jake, and me son Jake, have a good one. And shout out to me nephew Joey. And what the heck, another shout out to Carly and Brandy, two of my biggest fans. And hey, if you're a lot of the fans are out there, feel free to email me and uh, at Mike's Organic Videos. And uh, I'll be happy to give you a shout out too. Until next time. Ahoy, and remember, I got 99 problems, but a beach ain't one. <laughs>